Friday, guys, and you know what that means. It is time for another top five. How many times do you think I've said that? Many, many times. All right, today's topic is the top five TV character deaths that we're still crying over. I mean, it's safe to say that we all have those TV shows that we become completely invested in. So much so that we feel like the characters we have come to love on TV are our real life friends. Hashtag not crazy. So when tragedy strikes and our friends are taken away from us, we grieve for days, months, years even. So right now we're counting down the top small screen deaths we're still hung up on. Up first is the death of everyone's favorite history teacher turned vampire hunter, Alaric Saltzman of the Vampire Diaries. You are not dead. You are not dead. After Jenna's death, Rick became a father figure for Elena and Jeremy, and how dare TV Land take him away from them. And us. Good news though, everyone, because Rick returned just in time to wrap up season five, so fingers crossed he becomes a familiar face on TVD once again. Plus, I think that the CW felt bad for him and Julie Pleck wrote in some fun for him in season six. And you're gonna see maybe uh, a new potential love interest for Lark in uh, season one. Or in episode one. Maybe. So maybe that's for maybe. you. I heard there was a love interest. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I, can't, I can neither confirm nor deny okay. that. Coming in at number four is the death that we all saw coming, but it was still tough to watch actually unfold. Walter White from AMC's hit show Breaking Bad. As a reminder, he took his last breath after being shot in the show's series finale. Though Walter was everyone's favorite anti-hero, we have to admit that this was a very fitting and realistic ending to the show. Heisenberg even got to admire Todd in Jesse's meth lab one last time before collapsing to the floor, and fans took Walter's death so seriously that a local newspaper, the Albuquerque Journal, wrote an obituary for him. Yes, we agree he will be greatly missed. And do you know who else we're going to miss a whole lot? Maya St. Germain on Pretty Little Liars. They found the body. I think it's, it's Maya. Oh man, poor Emily. This death scene from the season two finale actually made us weep. I did not like watching that again. Maya, Emily's first girlfriend, was murdered by her stalker ex-boyfriend, Nate. But we know the little liars always come out on top before falling down to the next strike by the A-team. And Emily was able to kill Nate, out of self-defense of course, before someone else she loves was slain. Now I still get goosebumps when I see that scene where Maya's body is found and Emily falls to the ground crying. It is truly heartbreaking and people on that show need to stop dying right now. Moving on, at the two spot is a death that was truly shocking and somehow heartwarming at the same time. Now, it's rare for a TV show to kill off a main character, but I guess Teen Wolf is nothing but unique. Yep, I'm talking about the death of Allison Argent in the season three finale of Teen Wolf. The heroic archer that she is, Allison is shooting arrows left and right to save Isaac from being killed. Just when we think she did it and the war is over, Allison gets stabbed right through the heart. Scott comes through to her rescue, but it is too late. She dies in his arms as she mutters the words, it's perfect, I'm in the arms of my first love, I love you. I'm very glad that we don't live in that world. And now we have finally arrived at our top spot, but before we reveal the tragic death that we just cannot get over and I don't think we ever will get over, here are some more honorable mentions. Moira Queen on Arrow. She died a hero when she volunteered herself to be killed by Slade instead of her daughter Thea. Declan on Revenge. He was just in the wrong place at the wrong time when he found himself at Grayson Global just in time for a bomb to go off. This nice guy had also just found out that he was going to be a dad prior to his passing. Where is he? He's gone, Jack. 
Oh man, this one deserves a top spot on our list too. I'm talking about Ned Stark on Game of Thrones. He was our hero from season one and his beheading haunted my dreams for months. I just, I'm not even gonna watch. All right, and finally, we've made it to the most emotional TV character death on our list. I'm switching this up a little bit because the previous deaths were only for characters. And right now, again, one year later, we want to remember Corey Monteith. Of course, the hit TV show needed to address the real life passing via his Glee character, Finn Hudson. I remember rewatching this at the office and we were all actually tearing up and crying because seeing the real and raw emotions of all of Corey's co-stars reacting to his death was absolutely heartbreaking. Gotta say though that Glee did an excellent job memorializing Corey and Hollywood continues to miss him. As always, everyone, post your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for checking out Clever TV. And be sure to click right over here to switch it up and see five secrets from the set of Divergent that you didn't know about. I'm Dana Ward and I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. We'll see you soon.